subscribe to Mind Screw One. I can't take your t-shirt off the bed or bear to throw away the first sports page you never read. Wish I would have kissed you, held on to you that night. Think about what I'd give for one last goodbye. Though you had to leave, part of you still lives with me. I can feel you right here cheering for me. Well, hello, YouTube and RV fans. Well, today we're going to play a little game called What's in My RV Fridge. Now, I see people online doing this all the time and showing people what's in their fridge because there's a lot of uh, foodie voyeurism going on here. And uh, I'm not sure if it's been done extensively uh, on the RV community, but we're going to do it today. And uh, I'm going to have to apologize in advance. This is totally unscripted. My freezer needs defrosting, my fridge needs defrosting, and there's some food that needs a throwing out. So we're going to do this unscripted right now. Now the beautiful thing about my RV two-door fridge and freezer is it's fairly big versus the size of my RV, so I can put a lot of crap in there that I need. So uh, let's get started. Okay, folks, this is it. Now... We'll start on the door here. Um, whenever I go to, fa to fast food joints, um, I don't waste any of the food. I'll, I'll throw those extra butters and whatnot. And this is my actual temperature gauge thing that tells me uh, what the temperature is. And we're around five degrees Celsius, which is not reason, which is uh, pretty good. Love the barbecue sauce, Canada Dry. Mustard. Oh, uh, ranch dressing. I don't eat ranch dressing. This is old. It's probably got to be thrown out. Um, a lot of beverages. A lot and a lot of beverages. Now, for you American folks, you'll notice uh, I love my jam. I'm, I'm a toast and jam kind of guy for breakfast because um, it's convenient. Knott's Berry Farm Jam. You cannot get that in Canada, so I smuggle it up from the U.S. My boysenberry. And a lot of these fruit cuppy things, I'm not really eating them a lot lately, but they're just sitting there. Uh, Coke Zero, oh, of course, for you Pacific Northwest people, rain year beer. Uh, more jam, being Canadian, you gotta have Canada Dry. <laughs> uh, a lot of bottled water and filtered water. Um, oh, and uh, RV Crazy brought me up some uh, Jack Daniels barbecue sauce. Been loving that stuff. Um, Imperial margarine. Da, 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 da. Um, blueberries. I eat a lot of berries over the summer season. And uh, I do eat a lot of vegetarian food. Um, this is uh, Eve Veggie, a Canadian company. This is um, uh, Lean Ground Round. It's like a uh, vegetarian's answer to uh, ground beef. And I um, I make vegetarian tacos out of it. I add seasoning, you know, chili sauce and whatnot. Uh, I've got a uh, tortilla shell in there. And now let's get into the uh, the meat of the matter. Oh, no, actually we've got some more Tillamook uh, cheese brought to you by RV Crazy. Thank you much again. Some Canadian beef, Angus Pride. See, look at that. Canada AAA. Ooh, yeah. And my bacon products, because I want to fight the Al Qaeda bacon terrorists. <laughs> um, shredded cheese. And uh, more Tillamook cheese. I think I got some chili sauce in there, or chili powder. In here, 
I got some expired salad. This needs to be thrown out. Um, sauces, ketchup, mustard, and uh, Aunt Jemima for my waffles. Oh, and this is good stuff. This is Summerland Sweets. Blueberry syrup for my waffles. This is a Canadian product too, so look at that Canadian flag down there. And the barbecue sauce. Oh, and uh, another vegetarian ev uh, garden vegetable patties. Yeah, I was actually a vegetarian for eight and a half years. Um, maybe one day I'll do it again completely, but I don't think I can do it. I, I love my bacon and beef too much. So let's move on to the freezer. Now, uh, uh, this is a frozen pizza. I think I bought somewhere in uh, Washington, Oregon months ago. They can't fit in there the full size, so I have to break them in half and then I throw them in a bag. But this Canadian ice cream, uh, Western family, you can get that at Save On Foods. Death by chocolate, this stuff is to die for. Oh, yes. Um, frozen homemade orange juice or uh, mango, what flavor is that? Yeah, mango. Uh, for you um, people that love French. <laughs> Uh, Eggo Waffles. Oh, Captain Morgan. Oh, I, I, Captain. Original spiced rum. And I don't go through my bread fast enough, so I freeze it. Uh, more frozen waffles, some ice packs. So I don't have to run my ice machine all the time. I freeze my ice and put it in the freezer. And I got some frozen margarita mix. Freezer, uh, breezer freeze. This is uh, actually not margarita, it's a strawberry daiquiri mix, so it's got alcohol in it. You just throw it in the freezer for about eight hours. Instant daiquiris, love it. And I got some frozen blueberries in there too. Um, on the door we got more frozen ice, and uh, for baked potatoes I like to keep ready, crisp, shredded bacon frozen. Uh, I don't have to worry about using it up quick enough. Uh, some frozen sauces in the door and some more frozen bacon and that's about it so that's kind of the fridge freezer section of my life and uh, if I die of a heart attack at 55 you'll know why <laughs> that being said I actually have been um, taking multivitamins since I was probably about 13 or 14 so I think that makes uh, a good insurance policy for nutrition in spite of my bad dietary choices. So anyway, folks, in the meantime, stay safe, keep your wheels in the ground, 